I have over 15 years experience in economic geology and I have uh, both trained and worked uh, locally and abroad. Uh, <clears throat> this has, uh, over those years, I've been exposed to uh, junior, mid-tier and large mining houses such as Barrick and, uh, and uh, Anglo-American. Mm -hmm. um, what led me to Marula is I've been following their portfolio ever since the in inception and uh, I've watched them growing from strength to strength. And over the years, uh, I've been I've involved, I've, 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 I've indulged with them professionally and that has moved to the position that I hold today. Um, when we talk about the traditional East African region, when we're talking about Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, um, we realize that uh, the mining industry is at uh, different levels. When you look at Tanzania, you're looking at uh, contribution of the mining sector to the GDP being 9.7%. Uh, Tanzania is currently pushing for to, to attain a 10% contribution from the mining industry by, by 2025. Uganda comes second. The, their contribution of uh, mining sector to the GDP is 2.2%. Kenya is lagging behind. We are at 1%, just about 1%. So uh, the different levels of maturity uh, comes with um, both opportunities and challenges, in that uh, a country like Kenya can learn a lot from our experience in Tanzania. And uh, uh, Uganda, uh, for example, if if we look at uh, if we look at um, uh, if we delve a little bit more into what I mean by levels of maturity, you 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 know you'll find that in jurisdictions such as uh, Tanzania and Kenya application for licenses is a walk in the park. We are yet to reach that level in Kenya. Acquisition of metadata, data that can be used for exploration, is also a walk in the park in uh, the other two jurisdictions. But uh, Kenya, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, we're still using the colonial time data for us to, to, to build. So Kenya, in essence, is really underdeveloped in the exploration field, but we can get, uh, we can we can learn from the more uh, the bigger markets like uh, Tanzania. The opportunities, um, there are immediate opportunities that come from mm -hmm. Tanzania. For example, um, we have uh, licenses like in uh, when we talk about graphite in Yorinyori, in Bagamoyo, we have licenses that we can quickly turn around to production. Um, uh, si similar to Kenusi, right? Um, in Kenya, um, the situation is a little bit different, uh, but we have hit the ground running in 2024. We are actually um, in the process of uh, working with uh, partners at different levels. Um, where we, so um, Marula will now come in and provide uh, technical and financial muscle to develop some of these targets or some of these prospects to uh, uh, production level. Uh, I think we have a very unfair advantage, um, given that uh, we, we have very nice targets in, in Tanzania. I'm talking about uh, Nyori Nyori and uh, Bagamoyo graphite occurrences, uh, actually uh, graphite prospects, not uh, occurrences, and um, Kinusi as well. In Kenya, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, Kenya is very uh, underexplored, and that, uh, that shouldn't be looked as, at, as an, a disadvantage. It should really be looked at as an opportunity for Marula to uh, spread its footprint in uh, the largest economy in the in the region. Yes, uh, we need uh, clearly uh, one of the immediate primary goals is to turn around 
uh, the situation in Kenya and maybe down the line uh, Uganda so that we can uh, at least attain a 10% contribution to to the GDP. Um, having attended uh, Indaba, in, uh, mining Indaba in Tanzania uh, in October, it is very, very, very clear that I was very, very pleased to see uh, the strides that the Tanzanian uh, government has taken to facilitate in uh, developing the mining sector in, in, in that jurisdiction. They are very, very, very far ahead. And we, we definitely can, um, we can um, have collaborative ventures that can help uh, turn around the same here in uh, Kenya and in Uganda down the line. For that, I would, I would look at it from three aspects. One being uh, academia, the second being industry, and the third being government. So in academia, we will have opportunities for uh, graduate studies, that is uh, master's and PhD thesis that will also help in our research as a uh, private entity, uh, but then, or a public listed company. But um, uh, in the same level, we'll be able to have the younger generation all the way from primary to secondary to undergraduate uh, getting an opportunity not only to see but to also uh, participate in the development of some of these minds. So like in the case of uh, undergraduate students, we will, we will encourage internships, uh, for example. When it comes to industry, uh, we, we are in a prime position in helping provide solutions in terms of material needs that industry might require. Uh, whether they are in research or in uh, the commercial sector. And then with government, we are looking at uh, aiding in policy making to streamline the industry, uh, borrowing uh, from models that uh, will fit the local situation, possibly from South Africa and uh, Tanzania as well. Okay, I intend to uh, blend gender balance, um, youthful energy, and uh, experienced professionals, uh, and as well as diversity, you know, to nurture talent. So the key thing would be to try and uh, pick out the best so that uh, they can help to contribute not only to uh, the company's growth, but uh, uh, the well-being of, of their own well-being. Um, on, 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 on a slightly different note, we'll also be looking at working with uh, artisanal miners. Many of these, uh, many, many um, mineral deposits actually begin with the activity of artisanal miners graduating to uh, big mines. So we will make their activities um, safer as we also learn from them and they also learn from us. Um, Marura's portfolio is very interesting because uh, when you look at it, um, if we start from the South, South Africa, we have Blesberg, which is the only lithium mine in South Africa. Um, they've managed, the, uh, Marula has managed to turn around uh, or put to production this uh, mine in a very, very, very fast time. You can see that uh, the mine is growing. I mean, they, uh, so mining or production is going on concurrent to exploration. And uh, it's, 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 it's really a, a very positive going concern. Moving to Tanzania, we are looking at uh, uh, projects that uh, are very quick, that look very promising, and have this ability to be turned around very fast. And so um, that, that puts Marula in a very good position. 
in Kenya, um, we also have a little bit of an unfair advantage because we, we've we already identified uh, targets and uh, outfits that we can uh, uh, have joint ventures with and push uh, whatever products that we are looking at uh, to production. Um, I'm very honored to be part of this team. Um, being mentored by Jason and Richard, it doesn't get better than that. And uh, I don't want to promise much, but uh, I'd like the numbers to do the talking.